Hi guys, Dr. Gedi is here. In today's class, we are going to study flow separation. Let's take a sectional view of an aerofoil, and this is the ambient flow pattern over here of velocity u infinity and ambient pressure p infinity. For sake of simplicity, we are considering only the upper part of the aerofoil. Then the flow pattern above the aerofoil will be something like this. For our further analysis, we are dividing this aerofoil into two parts. This one is the front half of the aerofoil and this one is the rear half of the aerofoil. From observing the flow pattern on the front half of the aerofoil, we can easily get that on the front half, streamlines are converging, which means velocity will increase along with the flow. And on observing the flow pattern on the rear half of the aerofoil, one can easily get that on the rear half streamlines are diverging that means velocity will decrease along with the flow if we summarize our conclusion then here velocity is u infinity and as we move along the flow there is increase in velocity and here velocity is maximum if we further start moving along the flow then velocity will start decreasing and it again becomes u infinity over here if we apply Bernoulli's equation between any two streamline on the front top of the aerofile we can easily get that dp upon dx is less than 0. By the way, this is the xy coordinate. And if we apply Bernoulli's equation between any two streamline on the rear half of the aerofoil, we can easily get that dp upon dx is greater than 0. If we summarize our conclusion, pressure over here is infinitive and if we move from here along the flow we get decrease in pressure and pressure over here is minimum if we further start moving from here along the flow pressure start increasing and it again becomes p infinity over here so on the front half of the aerofoil there is negative pressure gradient which is also called favorable pressure gradient why because it accelerates the flow and on the rear half of the aerofoil there is positive pressure gradient which is also known as adverse pressure gradient why because it reduces the flow velocity. By the way, this is the boundary layer above the surface of the aerofoil. And this is the velocity profile over here. Since it is in the negative pressure gradient zone, so pressure over here is greater than the pressure over here. Because of this, there is a net pressure in this way which will try to increase the velocity of the fluid medium over here and we get slightly thicker velocity profile over here since it is again in the negative pressure gradient zone so a net pressure will again act like this which will again try to increase the velocity of the fluid medium over here and we get slightly thicker velocity profile over here. Now we are in the rear half of the aerofoil where pressure gradient is positive. That means 
pressure over here is greater as compared to the pressure over here that's why a net pressure will be exerted in this way which will try to retard the motion of the fluid particles over here and we get slightly thinner velocity profile over here again it is in positive pressure gradient zone so this type of pressure will again act on it which will again try to retard the motion of the fluid particles and we get even thinner velocity profile over here again it is in positive pressure gradient so net retarding pressure will again act on it one should note that here du upon dy at y is equal to zero is already zero that means fluid medium just above the surface of the aerofoil over here is already at rest so because of the net back pressure fluid particles over here will start moving in upstream that is in the opposite direction to the flow and we get this type of velocity profiles over here if we draw a line joining the points of zero velocity in the flow then we get this type of profile and it is interesting to know that inside this curve there are formation of eddies and this region is known as wake region you can see that from here onward flow is separated from the surface of the aerofoil that's why flow from this point onward is known as detached flow so flow will be on verge of separation when dp upon dx is greater than 0 that means there is adverse pressure gradient and also du upon dy at y is equal to 0 is 0 that is near the surface fluid is at rest because of the combined effect of adverse pressure gradient and viscous shear drag in the boundary layer one should also note that if du upon dy at y is equal to 0 is negative in the adverse pressure gradient region then the flow is already separated and the formation of wake has already begun which is highly undesirable so any aerodynamic component must be designed to avoid or at least minimize the flow separation that's it for this class guys if you found my this video useful chances are my entire channel is useful too so please subscribe my channel and do not forget to click the bell icon thank you for watching this video I really appreciate it.